The Powerpuff Girls. This TV show was a good TV show I liked from when I was a kid. Like, I was like, hey, I still enjoy it. I think I was like, I watched it and I enjoyed it. So I'm going to decide, you know what, I have kind of, I want to start flinching my knowledge of animatronics, like my some videos. I want to start flinching that. So I decided, why not flinch into this, my knowledge on this. I kind of already did the battle lots. I've been doing, like, reviewed, I've been, like, doing the um, reviews, the predictions. So I'm going to go into Battlecraft Girls. Okay, plus, I'm going to start this one off because why not her? Because I just kind of realized she's the most, one of the most gen just kind of changed characters. Um, her changes are more problematic to a team than they're being helpful. You don't... I mean, to be honest, if they're trying to make her relatable, they're doing a terrible job. I mean, to be honest, in the original, she was this smart one. Uh, she was kind of useful in a fight. Uh, she was, I think, in, the, in my opinion, original. She will probably be the weaker one because she's not effective in a fight, but she's very intelligent. So that's a nice dynamic. Yeah, um... Powerpuff Girl Z, let's get started. One, she is dumber. Yes, she went from being the smart one to uh, the equivalent intelligence and had no real special ability except to be very high pitchly annoying and to be overwhelmed positive trying to be Cupid when she can't do dick crap. That's all, that's all. She became a pervert. And she became weaker. Okay, what was this? She's trying to fix people's love life. This is a action cartoon show, not a love show. So I never got that exactly. To be honest, Blossom in the original, in the reboot, had one love interest. That's it, in the whole freaking four or five series. She is hopping from crushes in one series, the equivalence to a rabbit hopping away from Predator. Okay, that's not, that's not alarming by itself, and I don't know what it is alarming to you. That, and she brings really nothing. She is more drama confessed. She's weaker because she has the most useless weapon. Bubbles has that it looks useless, but at the end of the day, it's one of the more effective weapons. So, she's coming down as the weakest still, but she's, well, probably the dumbest. I actually can't say the dumbest. I'd say that she's just not the... She's really... She had to try to get an eight-year-old to do... I mean, this. I mean to be honest. And she thinks it's socially acceptable to pick a fight with an eight-year-old. So, tell me how this is a great character where you make the character now a pervert... Make your character think it's socially acceptable to pick a fight with an eight-year-old because you're invading his house and to try to take place of his mom when you're literally, when he's liter when you're still in middle school. I don't know about this. That I said the last part was kind of funny, but just how in... What? She went from, yeah, it was weird. Her characteristic change was the most useless to the team. And she's supposed to be the leader, but she has no leader qualities. She'd probably... Get this. With her personality, she'd be better fit as a side character than a main character. She is messing with people's love life, trying to hook them up with whatever crush they have. She is over... I mean, she's over-observant in dumb things. She's creepy. She's hopping to one crush to another. So tell me in the comments below, how in the hell was that supposed to be effective for a team of superheroes? She's better off a side character. To be 100%. Why did she went from being the smart one to be to be one of the more smart ones to the not so smart? The point you're trying to get in, trying to have to bribe an eight year old to make you a machine that does your homework, which what happens in that episode is actually pretty funny. I'd have to say, 
she's not a good con- if she was a side character, she's a side character. She wouldn't even be a good comedy relief. She's not really that funny. Truly, she's just the one that's too nosy. The one that gets involved with way too much. She's a pervert. She, cause she's staring at these kids. God, it, it's, how creepy is it? Well, that's, it is kind of disturbing. To be 100%. She is too love struck with the, one of her many crushes. Jimmy something. Jimmy Valentine, not Jimmy Val. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that was a mistake of the century, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, that's not going to get bumble nose when I watch these videos, really. So, Jimmy Cosmo, to the point she doesn't realize that he's taking her credit. She's that love struck. And somehow is this dumbfounded. I'm sorry. How do you get worse than this? You can't get worse, but I do not want that. Well, thankfully, Pop, that's apparently the one thing. She is not, she's just not that good of a team leader. When you think of a team leader, you think of at least like smart, strategic, openly minded, very, very hard to get so aggressive. She meets none of those requirements. She easily is aggressive. She's not that strong. She's not that smart. She's not that strategic. She's basically bubbles. I'm pretty sure the show would do fine with only one in a team. Because right now, she is redundant to useless. To be honest, she's not even the smart one. If you're not the smart one, then why in the world are you wanting... You're not... She's not smart. She's not that over... over stunned strong. She's not that strategic. She gets in the arguments way too much. <sighs> And somehow wasn't demoted by one of the men. I'm pretty sure. I'll make other videos about other characters. But she's gone for a negative to a point. I don't even know why. She went from the smart the smart one and strategic and well captain. To dumb, dumb, not, sorry, dumb freak that is a pervert. So, hey, that's a bad characteristic change. So... This is a message for people who want to do adaptations. Actually know about the show before you do the adaptation. Not learn the characters' name titles and know what they look like. Because if you do, you're going to end up doing something you probably don't want to do. Making the character a polar opposite, sort of. Because characteristically, there's her and the original are nothing alike. The original was more strategic. The original was le was a lot less confidently. I can't say confident, like a lot less. I have to say, hard to say. I guess um, it'd be more difficult. As she was actually not that aggressive. She would. I mean, like she would fight, but she wouldn't get easily in arguments. She wouldn't get too easy in an argument. It'd be a lot less. She'd not get that. It wasn't that easy to get her in an argument. The new one. You eat candy. You don't share candy with her. She starts screaming. She, she will start screaming. Because Mojo Jojo got candy somehow. That It wasn't canonized that he stole it. Just because he has it doesn't mean he stole it. And then. The most. She is a hypocrite. She says, don't eat too much candy. We're drawing with like, you shouldn't eat too much candy. She says that, it's like, it's bad for your teeth. When she gobbles down every sweet in sight, like, I'm surprised her, her teeth have not decayed completely. And her breath smells the equivalent to 
a person who hasn't brushed their teeth is four score and seven years ago. I'm not sure how she's maintenance to stay alive. And she is giving saying, yeah, I mean, this is more personal because I know this is a Japanese cartoon show. In Japanese, it's it's normal to eat an octopus, but in America, I'm pretty sure that's a lot less normal because I think that's there's some laws against that, maybe. I don't know. I think that's a lot less normal. Because you eat, it's like a lot normal to eat shark fin soup in China and Japan. But it's really not that normal in America because like a lot of cultural differences. But then if you're making cultural differences, why don't you make them look like Chinese people? Because it takes place in China, but they all look like Americans. I think there could be some of the older people look like Chinese people. But literally, they're... They never call each other by their real names. I don't remember them doing so. But then they have the real names. So what's the point of them? If they never call each other. And what? I don't understand anything. I'm a, I was the original fan. And their disguised costumes are terrible. They literally aren't even trying to cover their face in any format. It's just, mm, I just have a lot of things wrong with this, and it's so many things, so, so many things wrong with this. There's a lot of weird, let me say this, weird scenes. I don't know exactly when. Well, I watched, I apparently watched, I didn't, I watched a random scene. And when she's acrobatting, I mentioned, well, I'm, I can't, I'm just not going to say it. Weird stuff. And the Rowdy Rough Boys, you know what I'm talking about, people. Like if you watch that, it was weird. It's weird. I don't know how that's allowed to air in a cartoon show. Because one thing I learned about TV and movies, the thing is this. You can take a guy's shirt and pants off in a PG movie, but you can't do that with a gir girl unless it's like a PG-13 movie. I learned that. So I don't know how that's acceptable. To any standards? I don't know. I don't know how that's acceptable because of what you I know about the movie. and I, I don't know, so I just kind of realized that factor. So I don't know how that's supposed to go for a TVY rating. And a lot of weird content for a TVY rating. Because recently I got the Y, the name Sedusa. And then I understood the name. And then I can never... And then it's very awkward. So I don't know how that's allowed in a TVY7 movie. I don't know how... I mean... Rules them in Japan are a lot, lot, lot different. Because... Japanese version, the Rowdy Ref was, instead of just being gross flash waging, They pull down their pants and expose their raw hinds. So I know Japanese cartoons are given different than American cartoons because I know I heard it's how I just there's a title of a cartoon show that I know it's not good. Sensei Skirt Lifter. Just the name of it. It's like, what the heck? Like, why would they make a whole cartoon show that I just by the name it sounds bad. I watch like all scenes, I'm like, why would they make a whole cartoon show based off of that? Like, are they trying to tell kids it's okay to be a pervert? Is that the message? Because I saw a couple things. And they're kind of... Japanese cart... I'm not sure if it's Japanese, but they have some questionable things. So, I think 
in the English, and none of these episodes ever aired in America. They're meant to go, like, in Australia. I think Australia has, like, and Britain has the same ruling as America with cartoon shows. I think the episodes, well, they did a fair job at keeping it from being completely... I did it fine. They did fine. Because in the original version, instead of point road, they were peeing. So, America, like the English, I had to, I can't see America. The English did fair. The English did fair. The English did fair. So, at least they censored that stuff. So, yeah, they censored that stuff. And another, and, yeah. But, yeah. I'll make more videos, so this is just the beginning.